What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, we have to find the value of m where the vectors a, which is negative 3, 2, and negative 5, and b, 3m, minus 2, and m, have an angle of 120 degrees between them. This question is uh, pretty difficult. What makes it difficult is that we have these multiple m values within this b vector, and as you'll see, the algebra is going to get pretty tricky. So because we have both of these vectors in component form and the angle is 120 degrees between them, we can relate them with the dot product. So we know that, um, let's actually write it here. We know that a dot b is going to be the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times cos theta, the angle in between them. So notice that we can get expressions for each of these parts. So let's get an expression for the dot product between these two vectors. So the dot product is going to be what? Well, it's just going to be the x components multiplied by themselves. So negative 3 times 3m is negative 9m. 2 times negative 2 is minus 4. And then negative 5 times m is negative 5m. And then notice that these are like terms here, so negative 14m minus 4. That is the expression for the dot product between A and B. What about the magnitude of A? Right here. Well, we would just take the square root of all of the components squared and all of them summed up. So what do we get here when we do that algebra? So 9 plus 4, 13, plus 25, which is 38. So root 38 is um, the magnitude for vector A. And then the magnitude for vector B, square root of all of these components squared. So we got 3m, you got to make sure you put it in brackets, squared plus negative 2 squared plus m squared. 3m squared, you got to distribute that uh, exponent inside the bracket, so you'd have 9m squared there, plus 4 plus m squared, and then notice these are like terms here. So this would be the square root of 10 m squared plus 4. So that is the expression in terms of m for the magnitude of b. So now that we have all of these expressions, we can plug them all into this dot product equation. So the dot product between a and b is negative 14m minus 4, so that would go on the left side, negative 14m minus 4 equals the magnitude of a, which is root 38, times the magnitude of b, which is root 10m squared plus 4, and then the angle in between these two vectors is uh, 120 degrees, so this would be cos of 120. So now we have to solve for this m variable, but what makes it tricky is this m variable here is within a square root, so how are we going to do that? Well, first thing I'm going to do is cos of 120 we know that that's equal to what? Negative 1 over 2. So what I'm going to do to get rid of this fraction is I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. Right, just to get rid of this 2 in the denominator. So negative 1 half times negative 2, that's just 1. So that goes away. And then negative 2, I could distribute inside the bracket. So negative 2 times negative 14m, that would be positive 28m. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, like that. So we've got 28m plus 8 is equal to root 38 times uh, root 10m squared plus 4. Now, dealing with these roots, it's kind of annoying, so what we can do is we can square both sides to get rid of those roots. And then when we square both sides, 
So 28m plus 8 squared, we'll have to FOIL that. What happens here is we could distribute that exponent inside all of the expressions inside the bracket. So root 38 squared, and then this would be root 10m squared plus 4 squared. So then the next line, when you FOIL this out, so 28m plus 8 times 28m plus 8, FOIL out those two brackets, you end up with this here. So 784m squared plus 448m plus 64. And then notice here, because we're, square, uh, we're squaring radicals, the radicals go away. And then notice here how we can distribute that 38 inside the bracket. So 38 times 10m squared, that would give us 380m squared plus um, 38 times 4 gives us 152. And then that left side stays the same. So then continuing this up here, notice that we're going to end up with uh, some kind of quadratic equation on the left side. So bringing um, everything over to the left side, this and this are like terms. So 784 minus 380, when we bring it over, that would give us what? 404? Uh, m squared, 448m stays the same. And then uh, 64 minus 152, that would give us minus 88. And that's going to equal 0. And you end up with this quadratic equation here. Now, factoring this would take you quite a while, so I suggest you just input it into the quadratic formula right away. So the b value is uh, 448, so that would be negative 448 uh, plus or minus 448 squared minus 4 times the a value of 404. Uh, times the C value of negative 88. And that's going to be all over 2 times 404. And when you do all that algebra, you'll get two values for M. So M can be 0 0.17028, or M can be negative 1.279. So there's actually two solutions to this question. So not the smoothest answer, these are decimals, but nevertheless, they are the answers. And you can actually check these answers. So what you can do is uh, you can take this m value, for example, plug it into here. So you'll have vector b in component form. You'll have decimal values here for uh, the x component, the z component. But what you can do once you have those actual numeric values is uh, you can plug everything into this formula and then maybe solve for this angle. So just forget that the angle is 120 degrees between them and just work with the vectors. So you take the dot product of the vectors, find the magnitudes, solve for that theta, and when you solve for that theta, it should be something very close to 120 degrees. Same thing here with this m value. You could plug it in here, here, and then uh, find the magnitude, or uh, find the dot product, find the magnitude, find the magnitude, solve for theta. Again, it's going to be something very close to 120 degrees. So that's a way you can check your answer if you do run into a question like this.